Welcome back to Raw Sports Talk. I'm Chris, your favorite stat reader, and we have the Pelicans hosting the Pacers, and the Pacers are three and a half point road favorites. The over under is at 234 and a half. The Pacers are minus 148 on the money line, and the Pelicans are plus 124. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to tip off tomorrow. The, the point spread has gone up, and the over under has come down. And I imagine a lot of this has to do with the fact that the uh, the Pacers beat the Celtics and the Pelicans got smashed by the depleted Warriors in back-to-back games. Uh, the lineups for tomorrow's game is supposed to be Halliburton, Nemhard, Neesmith, Siakam, Turner. Both Nemhard and Turner are listed as questionable. And then for the Pelicans, Alvarado, Hawkins, Ingram, Zion, Thies. Hawkins and Thies are listed as questionable. The NBA is atrocious when it comes to NBA, uh, to confirming lineups. And I said this in a different video. They let the, the dudes do a shoot around in the morning and say they're a game time decision, full well knowing that they're not going to play them. Head to head, the home team's on a six game winning streak. The home team is seven and three. The Pelicans are six and four. The favorite has won and covered the last three games they've played against each other. The favorite is both five and five against the spread and five and five on the money line. The under is hitting their last three. The over is five, four, and one. And whether you got the over under at 236 and a half or 234 and a half, either way, it's seven and three right now. The last they played each other tw- twice last year. The Pacers won 123, 114 at home. The Pelicans won 129, 102 in New Orleans. The Pacers are one and three in their last four. There was a total of 221, 232, 234, and then 267 points. Losing by 25 to the Knicks, by 4 to the Sixers, by 4 to the Magic, and then beating the Celtics by 5. For the Pelicans, they're on a three-game losing streak. 208, 228, 230, and then 193 points. Two-point victory over the Blazers, then a 22-point loss to the Blazers, then an 18-point loss to the Warriors, and then a 15-point loss to the Warriors. And that was Warriors without Curry. I'm going to take... The Pacers with the money line. I will take the Pacers laying the points and I'm going under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.